Hey guys, welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today we're actually taking a look at something that I recently just sort of discovered myself. There are outfits in GTA Online that actually give you sort of secret and pretty useful perks. So huge shout out to Ronnie Maloney on Reddit. I don't know if he was the one who sort of discovered this sort of stuff or, or what, but he actually had some pretty useful posts and, and actually here we'll start with this post uh, unfortunately i couldn't get gameplay of of any of these but you can see this is the first little useful tip it's pretty obvious honestly a lot of the combat helmets do provide bullet protection it will protect you from two to three headshots i guess depending on obviously what weapon is used and there's actually that that sort of category of glasses the the ski mask apparently that works as or is semi bulletproof so i guess maybe if you're doing a lot of pvp definitely have some of these helmets on just to you know maybe help out in a fight now as far as the other little perks go probably the coolest one is actually motorcycle suits i believe this also works with stuntman suits and also the deadline suits but surprisingly, these suits actually give you protection from falling off your bike. I'm not entirely sure of the math of it. I believe a normal fall, you'll only end up taking like 5% of the damage if you are wearing one of these biker suits. But I did think that was actually kind of cool. So if you do like driving bikes around and maybe you're crashing a lot and maybe dying a lot, go buy yourself a biker suit or a stuntman suit and put it on. And you might be saving yourself a lot of time from respawning. I mean, you can see in a couple of these clips, we uh, we do some stuff that you would think gets it should get us killed, but it doesn't. And we're we're here to to live another day. Another outfit or piece of clothing that gives you a hidden perk is actually the pilot helmet. I don't believe you need the entire outfit as long as you are wearing just the helmet. But in first person, the pilot helmet actually gives you some pretty useful information if you're flying any sort of vehicle that goes, of course, in the air. It gives you the current airspeed on the left. That's what those numbers are. And then on the right, that actually gives you the altitude. Now, I will admit it's a little confusing as far as the altitude goes. I get, is that what? It's not in miles. Uh, me, is that in like feet, maybe? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what increment that's in. I mean, obviously zero is like the level of the ground, but it does go in increments of, you know, zero, five, 10, I think 15. I don't know if that's necessarily that useful, but the airspeed I do think is pretty useful. The fact that if you're in a jet or something, you can actually see how fast you are truly going in the air, which is really neat. The other outfit is, I mean, like this one's, I think pretty obvious. The scuba suit. If you buy one and you equip it, and then you go into the water, you get two pretty neat things. Actually three, maybe. You get a little flashlight, which does come in handy if you're in some of the darker parts of the water. You also get unlimited breathing underwater because you're in a freaking scuba suit. And then with the flippers, you do go a lot faster swimming around. So even if you don't go into the water very often, I would probably recommend buying a scuba suit and just having it in one of your saved outfits. Now, what's a little disappointing, apparently this was in the game at a certain point, but of course Rockstar took it out because they don't want us to have fun. The fireman's outfit, if you equip that way back in the day, it actually did sort of make you fireproof. But unfortunately, that is no longer the case. You can see I'm wearing it, I'm in the fire, and I still almost die. So yeah, that's a little unfortunate, but it did apparently have the fireproofness back in the day. And then to finish up, some of the other little minor things that happen, if you do end up using certain sunglasses like that are shaded or tinted for a brief period, maybe like 30 seconds to a minute, your game will have a similar tint. I mean, I think many people probably know about that already. And then the other one is if you have any sort of mask while the wanted level is blinking, if you do put a mask on, one of the stars will go away. And that's something that is so useful. I mean, I've made videos on that in the past, but especially for a lot of the heist missions and stuff where they give you like three or four stars automatically, the second they start blinking, put a mask on and boom, it'll get knocked down by one, which means you'll lose the cops a little easier. So again, shout out to Ronnie Maloney. 
on Reddit. But these are some pretty cool little perks that you can get from some of the outfits in the game. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.